Right, well today I'm going to be capping all of the bare metalwork. Uh, it's going to be all of the runners on either side. I'm going to be capping above and below the lip going down to where the panels will then cover over. Uh, it's the same principle for a high top or a T-top. Uh, obviously if it's a tin top you're just going to be going up where the panel's going to be joining and then out across to where the headlining would then overlap it. Uh, because this is the high top I need to go up, around and over the lip and then the side panels will then sit on top of where the carpet covers so you won't see any joins or any gaps, any bare metal, anything like that. So I'm going to crack on and get some carpet cut out. I've already cut a couple of strips. Unfortunately I'm starting to run low on carpet. I was hoping to do the entire run on one strip but I don't have enough carpet left for that. So I'm having to do a 2 metre strip, but thankfully a 2 metre strip actually goes just next to where the, uh, the fridge unit is and I'm going to be having a bunk or at least like a storage shelf going across there anyway. So where there is going to be a little join, although I'm going to be working my best to make sure that you can't even see the join, it's going to be covered anyway by the plank that's, or the board that's going to be going across there for the upper bunk. So I'm going to be doing a 2 metre run all the way down to round about here. Uh, then I'm going to be carpeting down the side panels as well and hopefully cover all bare metalwork so you shouldn't be able to see any metalwork at all. I see I've already got two strips cut out so I'm just about to apply the glue to that, put my mask on, apply the glue to the strips, apply the glue to the metalwork and crack on and see what it looks like when I'm finished. So continuing with the carpeting of the interior, uh, I've got much left to do now. I've got the pillars for both sides of where the seat bolts go. Uh, I've got a little bit going down the side of the sliding door, just on the side there, and along the top just above the doors. So at the moment I'm going to do the seat belt pillar sides just so I can then get the actual side panels secured back on. I can't put those on until this has been carpeted otherwise it defeats the object so I've already stripped all the seat belt off this one and I'm going to be I've already wiped it down it's all ready to go I'll show how I took it all off when I do the other side uh, so I'm just about to spray up a bit of carpet I've already got cut it's going to be a bit wider so it goes down and actually spans the pillar at the bottom as well so I'll just do a cut out going around where the rubber seal uh, should be touching up to it and we'll see how it looks when I'm done
door pillar done. Just got to put all the seat belt furniture back on. Uh, put the bracket back in there. Uh, put, put the holes for the seat belt mounts down there as well. So I've done the cut out for where all my cabling's coming out. It's going down underneath the rubber carpet as well. And it's going right up to the actual door seal. I've peeled all of the door seal off and back and trim the carpet completely flush with the actual panel and just banged all the door seal back on and that should ensure that the carpet will stay nice and dry but it also gives a really nice neat professional looking finish so I've just got to bang all of the uh, seat belt stuff back on and then uh, crack on with the other side that's all the seat belt uh, fixtures and fittings all back on so that is a fully finished fully carpeted uh, seat belt pillar all the way up to the top I'll put that top corner post a bit on as well so as I say it's all cut to go behind the rubber seal uh, I took all of that furniture off uh, that's all carpeted beneath there all the way down and carpeted around where the seat belt itself goes into the hole so that's where all my cabling's coming out I'll just put a little slice through there but that's still all going to be concealed by the ply lining it's all carpeted into the corner just so when the lining does go on you shouldn't be able to see any sort of metal work or anything like that so hopefully when it goes on it's going to look quite nice and neat there's obviously going to be that little join there at the top you shouldn't be able to see any of this join that should be covered you should only be able to see that little bit and I'm going to have a play with that just to see if I can get it just to blend in that little bit more but first of all I'm going to crack on and do the passenger side all the seat belt stuff off, as I say just the three bolts, uh, one for the anchor, one for the top mount and one for the mechanism. So there's a screw to take out uh, just there, with the plastic surround then this just pops off uh, and then we get the hex bolts inside there. plastic surround off so that itself is the anchor point for the top part of the belt and also for the slider mechanism so you can adjust the uh, seat belt up and down you've got two hex type bolts to take out for this and then that's the entire pillar completely stripped completely stripped and ready for carpeting so that's all of the seat belt mechanism completely removed all the way down to the bottom so now I've just got to get some spray glue peel off the uh, rubber seals just a little bit away just so I can get right in with the glue just so it's going to grip tightly when I push the seals back over the carpet so I'm going to loosen the seals off give the pillow a spray get the next sheet the carpet uh, give that a spray, get it fitted, and get all the seatbelt stuff back on.
caterpillar all finished carpeted. I just need to put the seatbelt stuff back on again. Uh, but again, that's uh, tucked up behind the actual plastic cover there. I've peeled both of the rubber strips off either side just to go all the way down just so the carpet runs up into the seal so there shouldn't be any water getting onto any of the carpet so as I say now I've just got to put the seatbelt stuff back on which is the main bracket at the top first then cut the hole out for the mechanism at the bottom bolt those on and uh, that's it so that's the seatbelt pillars pretty much done I'll pick it up after I've got the uh, seatbelt stuff back on and there we go, that's all the pillar completely carpeted with all of the seatbelt stuff back on. It's just a little bit of overspray that will just wipe straight off from the glue. But other than that, as I say, it's a nice neat finish going all the way down either side. The seatbelt's working fine. As you can see there, there's no uh, sort of like trimming issues or anything. It all goes nicely up inside the rubber seal on either side and all the way down to the bottom where the door is. As I say I've carpeted all the way around all of the seatbelt mechanisms and bolting holes uh, so they're all fine and the top slider that still works fine as well. So there we go, they are the seatbelt pillars and posts both completely carpeted so now we can finally get the carpeted ply panels on. Right, so I've just got the last bit of metalwork carpet to do. It's just the step beneath the driver's seat and passenger seat that goes down onto the cab. Uh, it's already got a little bit of uh, foil insulation up against it from when I've insulated the floor. I've already cut a bit of carpet to place uh, to size, so I'm just going to be spraying this up, uh, getting it right into the corners, right into where the flooring starts as well. Hopefully there shouldn't be any gaps whatsoever. So I'm just going to start spraying this up, get it attached and uh, that'll be the metal work complete. Alright, so there's the bottom step all carpeted. Uh, I was going to film it but the camera started playing silly buggers again but it's pretty simple again. I've just tucked all of the carpet in and all the way along where it's meeting the ultra flooring. I've then bent it up, trimmed it down and just folded it underneath the, uh, the rubber strip for the front cab. So that's going all the way along and all the way down. As I said this area is going to be getting a replacement side step anyway, so I haven't bothered carpeting round the side step. All that's going to be covered when I get a replacement plastic side step. But other than that, that is now all of the carpet work completely finished. So that's the step. I've managed to get a, a pretty good join in the corner there as well, so nothing's too visible. So that's the step done. That's both of the side uh, seat belt pillars done. Uh, all of the metal work going along the top there. Uh, I managed to get that join looking a lot neater. It doesn't stand out anywhere near as much and a little bit more scraping and I'm sure it'll actually come out that little bit better as well but uh, it's not a massively obvious join. It probably shows up a bit more on the camera because I'm zooming in on it but just at a glance you wouldn't be able to tell that that's a particular carpet join. That's it. All of the metal work going down both of the sides is also complete on both sides. Again, that's where there's another join in the carpet, but you just can't barely see it at all. <coughs> so unless you're actually looking for the joins, nothing's obvious, which is the way I like it. So that's both runners, the step behind the front seats, the seatbelt pillars, the runner for the sliding door, all that's carpeted around it as well. Uh, I just, I'm going to paint the inside of it black. Uh, you don't really want to carpet the inside of that, uh, otherwise it's just going to stop the runner. But carpeting along the outside gives it a nice neat, uh, nice, neat finish. So that's all done, and I've also done the uh, the back bit on the high top. I've done both sides, going around on the other side as well. And I've just tucked the carpet underneath the rubber strip going all the way along, as you can see there. It's just going all the way along and tucked under so if there was any water to get into the channel it's just going to run along the outside of the rubber and straight down in the way. So that is pretty much all of it done. The other bit that I did was also around the sliding door. Again I've just done exactly the same as what I did with the seatbelt pillars. I peeled away the rubber for the sliding door, trimmed the carpet going all the way down up to where it actually sits flush with the panel. 
and then uh, just knock the trim back on and it gives a nice neat finish again so that's all of the metal work around the sliding door I say the step, seatbelt, pillars, runners, rear door, everything done the only thing I need to do now is fix everything in place for the headlining like all this type of stuff just to go back in and get secured and I've got the main headliner to go up and now I've got my solar panel stuff in place as well so once all that's in place I'll have a nice neatly carpeted fully carpeted out van so yeah have a look at my channel if you want to see how I've made the replacement headlining for the high top and I've carpeted that or how I've carpeted all the panels uh, I've done all of the panels I've done a separate video for the sliding door and uh, the rear doors uh, I've carpeted the panels for those as well the only bit I've got left to do now is the actual rear doors themselves but I don't have enough carpet I'm gonna to have to order some more carpet for that so that's gonna be a job for another day and I'll cover that in a separate video but other than that that is the van carpeted and done